I'm going to attempt to try and film my uh, borage with the bees. I hope you can see this because this is so cool. They love this stuff and borage actually just spreads all over your garden. Look at the little blue flowers. Let me see if I'm going to follow them a little bit. I, they're very camera shy. Can you see them? Hey bees, you're on camera. They just love the nectar of these beautiful blue flowers. That's them right there. See them? Probably like, Anna, we're, we're trying to eat. What are you doing? And they won't bug you as long as you don't sit on them like I've done before. Quick glimpse of the garden. Let me tell you what else is growing here real quick because some people have been asking. There's my cucumbers. I'm actually trying something new this year. Instead of trying to have them climb up a vine, I'm having them climb up a tomato trellis. Over there is my zucchini. Gonna get really big. Oh, I, I can't not miss the bees. This is just so cool. Can you see them? Over here is amaranth. And if you ever grow amaranth, it is going to spread like wildfire in your garden because the seeds fly everywhere. And these leaves actually make great tea. I've talked about amaranth on the uh, uh, Green Talk before, and um, I love this plant. Actually, i got to move that one. He's going to be actually in the way. Nastrium, which is impossible to grow lately. And a darn raspberry leaf dropped by, a raspberry plant dropped by one of the birds. My squash. More amaranth back there, which I need to move. These are lima beans. No, these are not lima beans. Take this back. This is black-eyed uh, black Susans. They will grow all over the place. Over here is, I think this is melon, which is not growing very fast because we haven't had very many warm days. And you can see borash is just everywhere. I, I just can't get rid of it. It just kind of grows. And they say those small young leaves taste like cucumbers. I've tried them. They're a little not to my taste. Over here is one of my favorites, a zinnia. A zinnia and a watermelon plant over here as well. Here is a mess. This is my first time, I'm pretty sure this is the lima beans, my first time growing lima beans. And in the back are gonna be uh, like scarlet runners, which is really beautiful. Here's the patch of amaranth that I'm actually grew by seed, but as you can tell, it just kind of has a mind of its own. Another borage. Borage everywhere, God, it's like everywhere. My tomato seedling, who's kind of hidden in the back here who is yelling for heat. Over here is a parsnip that I grew last year. And as you can tell, it's going to seed. And I'm hoping that it seeds all over the place because parsnip is so hard for me to grow. I can't even grow it from seed. Tomatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. Purple basil. And I just actually put something in new last night. I put in something called moth beans. And they're like lentils, but they do a really nice mat of ground cover so that um, I won't have to weed as much because this hay or straw, sorry about that, straw, hay is for horses, just takes over. This is margin over here. More tomato plants. This plant is, is freaking me out. I don't know whether this is a carrot because it looks just like a carrot or Queen Anne lace. Readers, if you're watching this, let me know what you think this is. Take a look at the heads. This grew from last year, so it was in the um, ground. It's quite possible that it is a carrot, but I have a feeling it's Queen Anne by the way its uh, flowers are. More tomatoes. Um, that would be a Cosmo back there that I grew from seed. Um, these are beets. They love beet greens. You've got to try them. Basil that died. Basil back there. See all the borage? I'm telling you, this is crazy. Amaranth that seeded all over the place from last year. I don't have the heart to pull it. A purple basil. Isn't that beautiful? Cosmo, one of my favorite, favorite plants. Some tomatoes. And this is just bed one.
Last year I had a groundhog and they basically took all my, my uh, peaches. Oh, look, look, we have peaches. Can you see them? Let me see how many more up here. See? Aren't those cute? Still pretty hard. It's my first apple. I am a proud parent of a three or four year old apple tree. These are heirloom organic apple trees. I've talked about it on the website as well. So it's my first group of apples that are actually showing up on these trees. And over here, if you're gonna grow buckwheat, be prepared next year. It actually comes back and it comes back with a vengeance. I didn't plant any of this this year. It just all came back and I'm in zone five. So there's just no way this should have come back. Same thing with sunflower seeds. I left out the sunflower plant with the seeds for the birds. And P.S., even with our rough winter, look what I have. Sunflowers. That's my butterfly weed. I grew that from seed. And over here is my herb garden, which I'm not really sure what's what half the time because I plant some of it and some of it shows up and birds drop things and... It's pretty darn cool. Shasta daisies, Rubicia. Um, I grew those plants. This is rue down here. Hoping it does something. Um, I can't pronounce the name of this plant. Tarragon. Look at my tarragon. Oregano. Oregano's everywhere. I forget what that's called. Balloon flowers, I think. That's tarragon in the back. Just this is my favorite garden right here bed because it's just so wild and so cool. Um, kind of out of control. I like it. And over here, I'll just give you a quick glance of what's going on in the garden over here. In here's the other garden. It's much more protected and it tends to have the root vegetables. So there's cabbage in there. There's turnips that have gone to seed. Let me walk in real quick. My bay leaf. Let me take you in. 